Okay, if you've got to solve an inequality that looks like this, okay, this is a quadratic inequality. The fact that it's got that x squared in it is telling you that it's quadratic. And you can't really solve a quadratic using the linear means that we have before, okay? Um, in the sense that in what we have to solve a quadratic equation, we have factorization, we have completing the square, and we've got the quadratic formula, okay? In a lot of these cases, um, it's going to be the quadratic formula and factorising that's going to really be the main way of doing this, okay? And the way that I would suggest. Now, x squared minus 16 is um, a quadratic that you can solve, well, you can factorise, sorry, because it's the difference of two squares, okay? So we can write this as x plus 4, x minus 4, is greater than zero. Okay? Now, in all situations where you're doing um, a quadratic inequality, I suggest very, very strongly, okay, hint, hint, that you should do a sketch, okay? Regardless of how much you probably hate sketching, and some people hate sketching with a passion, I really do suggest that in these cases it is very important. In any case, you know what a parabola looks like. You know what a quadratic looks like. You know that it's either going to be a happy face or a sad face, depending on the, f the coefficient of the x squared. And because it's positive, it's going to look like this. Okay? So... Just draw yourself any old parabola. You don't even need to draw your axes. Okay? You know that the solutions for this quadratic is minus, uh, minus 4 and positive 4. Okay? So, there are solutions. One is at minus 4, one is at positive 4. Okay? In fact, this quadratic goes through minus 16 on your y-axis, okay? So, this is what it would look like, and what you need to ask yourself, based on that inequality, is where is the parabola above y equals zero? Okay? Where is it above this line? Okay? And it's above it, here, okay? You can see that the curve is above the x-axis, there. So it's above it any of those, at any of those points. And it's also above it, here. Okay, any of those points. The parabola is below the x-axis, between minus 4 and 4. So you can see, by this sketch that the solutions that we're looking for are split into two distinct sections. And because they're split into two distinct sections, you must represent the inequalities in two distinct inequalities. This part is x is less than minus 4, and this part is x is greater than 4. Okay? So, these are the two solutions to the inequality. Okay? And that is how we are going to be solving quadratic inequalities. We're either going to be using this factorising method, okay, draw a sketch and then find the pieces that we want, or we are going to be using the quadratic formula to find these two points, draw a sketch, find the bits that we want, okay. This is the essence of how you solve quadratic inequality, and there are going to be plenty of examples coming up in the following videos.